Let's check this out. Make sure we're going live. Let's pop up the chat. Nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a random live stream. Caterpillaring, how are you doing? We are in the patio and uh, if you followed uh, one of the things I posted yesterday, we've got a whole bunch of seedlings on the table here that we've planted a little bit already. Uh, and today is sunny I went and got a whole bunch of soil behind me so I figured uh, we do some planting the trash man how are you doing it's Sunday it's beautiful out it's a little windy hopefully the the noise is not going to be too much for the wind uh, but it is nice and sunny I've set up the <laughs> little patio umbrella above the computer uh, so the camera shouldn't get sun it's going to be good the fan a lot how are you doing what an amazing looking day what an amazing looking day it is fantastic is that the uh, blue sky or gray sky it is uh, it is blue a little bit of cloudy blue and a little bit of cloudy yeah yeah unexpected chicho elder god how you doing brother hope your life is well we've got a here let me show you what we did yesterday we planted a whole you know uh some tomatoes and a few days ago I, we fixed up the back there this there's like strawberries that we have there, which is really good. Uh, there's one of them might be ready. I might come and show it to you guys. Brett Kelly, how are you doing? We did a whole bunch of cleanup and I got a whole bunch of pots here. Just bought 170 pounds worth of soil. I already went through like 150 pounds worth of soil. <laughs> we got another 100, 170 pounds worth of soil. Uh, so I hope the wind is not, is not too much for the mic. Chicho BDT. Hey, Chicho. Ripper, how you doing, brother? How are you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Chad, how's everyone? Nice, nice. Impropto live stream. Aside from that, here's my intro. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> I'm on Patreon. If you want to support this work, follow this work. Patreon is a good way to do it. I just announced it on Patreon. So Patreon sends out little notifications to people, letting people know that I'm going live. It's a natural sound. It's a natural sound. Okay, fantastic. Great. Thank you, Elder God. Uh, so, if you want to follow this work, support this work, see what we're up to, Patreon is a good place to be. Uh, we are live streaming this on Twitch. I'm well, sir. Awesome, Ripper. Awesome, Ripper. I had to edit. I had to edit the chunk of reading the letter, man. Had to load that up solo, right? Uh, we're live streaming on Twitch. Uh, so, if you're going to watch this, if you want to participate live, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. I do announce stuff and I just announced uh, that we're going on live in a few minutes on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. Okay. So you can follow the feeds there. I'm not sure if they send out notifications or whatnot. Starsky, how are you doing? Chicho, how's life, brother? This is a perfect timing. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Fun. Lark, hey, Chicho. And good afternoon. It looks gorgeous out there, including here in the US uh, of the West Coast. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. I had to do this right had to be done uh, I we're not gonna I'm not recording on a lapel mic I'm gonna be moving around I'm gonna sit over there by the way so I'm not gonna really participate in the chat unless I come to the computer so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it uh, and leave it at that it's gardening so I can't really keep my eyes on the computer I'm gonna move around a little bit and whatnot uh, I'm looking forward to it did you show your partner the fan art comment I did <laughs> By the way, I by the way fan a lot. I didn't post it on our Discord. Okay. I didn't post that picture on the Discord. You're welcome to post it on Discord. But one reason I didn't post it on Discord is I figured if you're sending me that art, it'll just be we'll just show it to people, right? Uh but it would be amazing. I think people would love it. Uh you can tell them what you've done. I haven't I haven't spilled the beans. I haven't spilled the beans. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna be uploading this video to YouTube in BitChute. And for sure, this is going to go on YouTube. It's going to be uh, non-controversial. I'm not even planting any cannabis plants, so it's non-controversial. Tomatoes. I'm going to be planting tomatoes. Have you been to Cali? I have many times. Lark, I've been to Cali many, many times, man. Ripper Chicho, 
I loved it and appreciate it very cool after watching for so long to have a video uploaded solely around the gift I sent really awesome Ripper it brought me to tears man special X how are you doing Elder God mandatory mask Monday tomorrow oh god Elder God I, I can't even imagine I can't even imagine I still haven't worn a mask throughout this whole thing right not in my area solve the floor me I have no idea what that says on public trans on public transport only okay that's okay <laughs> all good brother all good okay fan a lot okay fan a lot did you like it in Cali? I loved it I have relatives in Cali I spent I, there were years where I would go to Cali like three times a year right from Vancouver drive I've driven I five man boom 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 we didn't we would do it from Vancouver to Cali in 18 hours right For one time we did it with three cars RX-7 CRX and a Jetta and we were coasting it California we have three cops ambush us and take us down and give us tickets at the time tickets were cheap man cheap 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 speeding like going 120 miles an hour or something it was only like $80 speeding ticket I'm gonna take these things down gang these little things so you get a view of the thing in the chicken lonely piggy chicho hope you're staying hydrated out there I I will be I will be I'm just drinking soda and lemon water and uh, lemon squished in it they don't make you wear masks and shops okay cool wow driven from can to cali damn I'm impressed. and man i5 is a beautiful drive i5 is a beautiful drive oregon and southern california southern california when you get into redding and the landscape and the red clay and stuff and the lakes it's beautiful man it's beautiful i i do miss that drive i do miss that drive thanks <laughs> let me show you what we planted uh, yesterday here take a look here's here's three lettuce that we planted Whoop. dripping three lettuce that we planted okay and we water them right so as soon as you plant them you gotta water them we got some arugula and stuff like this and the one that's flowering is supposed to be good for controlling pests okay and then we got a whole bunch of parsley here the pot is heavy so we got four parsleys here okay let me put this guy down so gang what I'm gonna do is um, oops, that must have been loud uh, all I'm gonna do is just gonna go park my ass right there okay and I'm gonna start cracking open the soil and doing the cuttings let me show you the seedlings that we got by the way this is one bunch and this is our city was giving these away for free to help in food security right so for a couple of weeks they had different places set up and they were giving these uh, seedlings away for free so we grabbed a whole bunch of tomatoes cabbage um, arugula lettuce uh, what else um, and here's a here's another trick lots of tomatoes right so it's cool so super cool I used to perform right off I-5 in Cali beautiful drive I took my Trans Am oh a Trans Am WS6 out there also got tickets all California man California lots of tickets uh, the heaviest ticket I got was in Washington coming back from a string cheese incident on January 1st so we went to New Year's Eve string cheese incident in Portland Oregon and uh, it was a New Year's uh, what do you call it New Year's uh, sort of a, a concert there was a whole bunch of bands and we were just partying and Oregon and stuff and we're driving back uh, January 1st and I got like a $350 ticket in near Seattle and, or I don't know where it was and I just went man you guys are crazy <laughs> so we just went okay the other thing is so we drove back to Vancouver where are you 
what's the temp like the temperature is probably around uh 18 18 or so 17 18 it's pretty warm it's pretty nice and i'm in uh, west coast of canada jubilu jubilu so ripper you guys used to uh what do you call it uh there's a stadium uh, arena there where you guys used to do the wrestling just i5 uh just off of i5 jacoby how are you doing what's good brother uh, plants are good <laughs> love tip how are you doing yeah the, our neighbors over there they have kids i think they're grandparents and they have the grandchildren come over and play a lot and stuff there are kids around us in the neighborhood which is cool trampoline noise is crazy though upload this video as string cheese incident and it will take over <laughs> as number one view <laughs> funny i've seen string cheese incident five times fun fun jacoby in in dubai today although the temperature was mid 40s due to the humidity it felt like 56 degrees <laughs> outside according to weather <laughs> <laughs> too much I'm in the west coast of Canada I'm in Victoria right now I'm in Victoria oh Canada yeah Canada fun place to be River. there was a big community center building uh, Moruso auditorium rather than stadium okay. okay gang I'm gonna go start planting some stuff uh, I hope you can you guys are having a fantastic day uh, I'm, I'll try to come and check on chat, but my hands are going to get dirty. So I'm not going to touch the computer. <laughs> we can't have the computer go down, right? So uh, if I get a chance, I'll come and reach out. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be scrolling. So uh, I hope you guys uh, are having a fantastic day. I hope you guys have nice snacks, drinks. Uh, you know, you're you're gonna you're gonna spend a nice chill sunday doing whatever it is you're doing if you want to chill here uh, enjoy your stay here uh, i'll show you guys what i end up planting and stuff are you only planting in pots or do you have uh, we don't have ground uh, we got access to it but the other places don't have sun as much so we're just doing plants uh plant um into pots patio garden solo the grapes you see here and there's a lot of grapes on here right the grapes is it, we've been here for like three four years or four years i guess now and we started directing the grapes coming over from the neighbor's house all the way here and i built this up like the first year i had this up expecting the grapes to come up and we directed it here and we have it going over as an awning right so the grapes are in the ground from the neighbors and they're very good grapes actually uh, raccoons come up here to eat them <laughs> i'm gonna prevent that this year same with the squirrels big fat squirrel of course, uh, going between uh massage chair inversion table and hot tub oh my god that sounds great my back is uh, burning oh that doesn't sound good unless you're heating it burning you mean it's live teacher working stream live teacher working stream danite how are you doing Anuj, hey Chicho, chilling in the porch, chilling in the porch. Okay, gang, I'm going to go plant my ass and start doing some uh, planting stuff, okay? Um, and I'll try to come back here and check things out. And I got my hat on so I don't burn my, burn my head, all right? But I'm going to be in the shade there, so, but I'll keep it on. Spent hours, seven hours on the porch last night, beer and brats, beer and brats. If you're dealing with brats, you need the beer, man. I tasted some of my first self-made liqueur. Did you like it? Super good, huh? Graham, how are you doing? I don't know. I didn't know you were streaming. I, w I wasn't planning. I was I was hoping I could stream, but it would really depend on the weather, and it depended on me going, where, how do I do this? <laughs> going, grabbing the soil on this side. <laughs> so we, went, we just came back from the garden shop and bought a whole bunch of soil and whatnot, right? I'm in the UK and got lots of problems with slugs. You probably don't have slugs. Oh, we got slugs. We, we do have slugs here, but we control them. Uh, in the garden, for sure, there's lots of slugs. Uh, but in the pots, yeah, less so. Less so. But they eat a lot, those little buggers. They don't like salt. <laughs> Zoot. Hi, cutie. Look at those guns. Haha, <laughs> great topic today. Great topic. 
has the standing from 24. 24. So it, it's been uh, 24 or 4. So January, February, March, April. So from April 24th. So it must be ready. Oh, that's like the liqueur. For sure. Chicho, wait. I have a question. What's your question? I want to try to make liqueur, but I want my mom to try it. I'm going to be at my mom's place for like a month. If I take liqueur on day one at her house, when should be good uh, to try the liqueur? With the I would recommend making strawberry if you're short on time. Strawberry liqueur tastes the, it's the fastest that tasted so good. Okay, so make strawberry liqueur and strawberry. Who doesn't like strawberry, right? Make strawberry liqueur. Cherry liqueur is pretty fast too. Um, so cherry and strawberry and within two weeks you sh strawberry you, sh you should start tasting phenomenal okay the quality looks real good natural light does one natural light does wonders indeed you look in phenomenal shape um, i could be better shape man hey mr warden how are you jacoby it was awesome orange sugar and vodka Oof, delicious i refilled it and filled another jar with strawberry liqueur awesome awesome so you already went through one iteration nice job <laughs> well not really don't drink so much but nice job okay gang i'm gonna go how much liqueur can i drink in one tasting that's dependent on individual man. just remember it's sugar and alcohol right so be careful I'm gonna go through my plants, man. I hope you guys uh, are having a fantastic day, gang. I'm gonna do a little rearranging. And all I got is uh, uh, it's just soda water and lemon. That's it. Okay. I don't have brats around me, so I don't need beer. Whoever that was. <laughs> What should we plant first? Let's break this one. Okay. This guy. I'm gonna do tomatoes first, by the way, I think. And the type of soil I have. Here, let me tell you what I got. I got uh, organic potting soil. I got organic uh, booster soil. And I have... Uh, uh, sea sea soil organic sea soil okay so I'm gonna do mixes and stuff I'm planting tomatoes cabbage uh, lettuce oregano cabbage um, and the flowering yellow plants they control bugs so I'm gonna put one of those in the pots and stuff like this right now and because this is sort of a deeper pot I'm going to put the tomatoes in this one. Okay. What I have also, take a look, I got like broken pots that we have and I put some of these in the bottom so you get a little bit of drainage happening, right? Uh, especially with the ones that have in the pots that have holes in the bottom. I'm not using tomato seeds, I've just got the cuttings, uh, seedlings uh, that the city was giving away for free. All of these seedlings, everything we planted, 
uh, that we are going to plant today and we planted yesterday, they're all seedlings. Uh, tomatoes, cabbage, arugula, <laughs> lettuce, uh, uh, parsley, parsley. take uh, one of this one of this and I switch them up and I'm gonna put a little bit of that as well like one or two uh, like buckets full of that one the and I usually mix them up even so uh, potting soil and then uh, booster soil This is the sea, uh, sea soil. It's really dark, right? This is the potting soil. So it's not as dark, right? It's lighter. And then this is the booster which is heavier, heavier soil. Okay. Um, we do, we just compost into the city. We don't do it ourselves. We do have in the back, but we're not using it. Gotta put my reading glasses away. <laughs> we don't need sunglasses. Don't see any cannabis. Uh, we are in Canada and it's illegal. Okay, just letting you know. I'm going to bury the tomato up to about here. Okay. So it's going to go not just in the bottom here, but all the way up to here. So we need this guy deep.
out. This is a root system of another plant that was in here, right? So might as well take it out. We'll put this guy. One more tomato. Can't go wrong with one more tomato. Plant a couple of cabbages. Most of the cabbages. How's it going? Hi, cutie. How's it going? Good, good. Should I do cabbage in that one? Do you want deep for cabbage or like yeah, what should do? my partner's here I'm checking with her where we should put the cabbage <laughs> should we do one or two cabbage um, I don't know let's just do one yeah sure. we got a tomato tomato down Lots in the of big the nice um, pots are under the big other pots yeah those guys I'll figure we use up these ones first and then the big ones uh, we have to use for what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. How's it going with you? You're doing your stuff? Yeah? Okay, good, 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 good. You usually ask me about things, so. <laughs> I know, a good thing you came and checked. Cheers, Kim. Oh, yeah, I have a drink too. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. <laughs> You want to come and say hi? No. <laughs> Cute. mix and 50 pounds of the booster so I'm gonna probably start using more potting mix
put one of these guys in there too. I don't know what these guys are called, but they're good for controlling bugs. Like they reduce the number of pests. If anyone knows uh, the name of these. Actually the flower does have a smell. It's pretty cool. But we're gonna put, uh, basically spread these around uh, the garden. Citronella? I don't think it's citronella, Graham. No, I don't think it's citronella. I'll ask my partner when she comes. It's got a little bit of lemony, lemony smell to it, so it could be a version of citronella. Totally root bound, eh? for these two. Where's my bottom? I reached in the pots that are broken and I gave myself a cut so I'm gonna just wash it out and put uh, a band-aid on it I'll be back in a couple of minutes okay don't reach into broken pot uh, area silly silly chicho I'll be back soon
<laughs> it cut pretty sharp actually. <laughs> it's like a glass cut. Right? Nope. Take a look. Like the blood is coming out of it. So this is not gonna go into the into the soil, right? I give it a wash and uh, used a little bit of alcohol rub and we put a little bit of uh, like this white stuff that seals it and then put this on top. So, you know, out of commission. So no cooking strain this week. <laughs> hot sauce, I have a friend that made homemade hot sauce. I think Chicho went off to uh, spring. I did spring a leak right there. Chicho's leaking. How often is it uh, healthy to use uh, medical herbs per week? Anna, up to you. Everybody's different, man. Everybody's different. Okay, everybody's different. So this hand's gonna be clean, which is okay. Well, this hand's gonna get dirty now. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna put a plate under that thing. I got bigger plates here, so I'm gonna do that. So let me show you this. Here's our cabbage. Very nice, very nice. Right. And I got, and I usually just use old plates uh, for under the pots. Okay. Let's put this guy. Let me move these guys here too. These are the ones I showed you guys uh, these ones already. These are the ones we potted yesterday. Okay. And here's some of the lettuce. I think we're gonna do I think we're gonna put a couple more lettuce in. Okay. Cut hard. Ouch. Very limited to what we can grow here in Vegas. And yes, uh, what would to Taco Tuesday be with an assortment of hot sauce. This is a boring Sunday. So much better. Nice. I do have a glove, but I don't. I don't like wearing gloves, man. Not when I'm working like this. I'm, I'm like a construction guy, uh, so I I need the textile feel of things that I do, uh, that I use. I should. I should really, in reality, use gloves. Uh, for construction, there's definitely periods you use gloves. You put gloves on and you, if you're dealing with lumber and stuff like this, you're, you, you're wearing gloves, you have to, right? Otherwise, you're going to get splinters all over your hands, right? You're telling me my hands are scarred up because of my tools, yeah. The textile feel of making something when you're touching it is different than when you're not, when you're wearing gloves. That's a lot of plants. <laughs> it is indeed. And hi. Let's do, let's put lettuce in this one. Yes. We'll put a couple of lettuce in this guy.
Two lettuces and this maybe citronella stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. Very nice. So let's put this here. Okay, put this guy back there too. This is the parsley we planted yesterday. I'm gonna plant these guys. It's like arugula, like salad, and this is uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, mustard. It's got a mustard flavor to it. This this guy. Okay, it's pretty very tasty, by the way. and this one are too big. I don't like it. Oh, this one's pretty big too. Maybe that one was okay. Okay, we'll do this one.
I <laughs> caterpillar, <laughs> not ignoring. But plants come first to a certain degree, right? If we're doing potting, my hands are too dirty, and I got bleeding going on. Nice. And when I put all these on this side, I'm putting it basically in the sun. And what I'm going to do as soon as uh, we finish potting and stuff like this, uh, I'm going to come and water them all, right? So as soon as you do potting, uh, you need to water. Oh, Chicho, we're still here. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday still. Cheers everyone. <laughs> Plant lives matter. Yeah, Coolio, how are you doing? By the way, Coolio, uh, one of the reasons I decided to go on with the live stream today just impromptu live stream uh, aside from being nice weather and stuff like this i was ready i went and quickly got the soil or we went and quickly got the soil and stuff like this uh, on discord i read your message saying you were feeling a little down so i figured maybe other people are feeling a little bit down so i thought maybe we do a little planting uh, on a sunday afternoon right uh, to lift up people's spirits a little bit right because uh, seriously if you're feeling down uh, there's two things in your life that solo you can do to pick yourself up again to give yourself energy to lift yourself up to make yourself feel good right two things okay there, there are others but two of the main things you can do exercise and go play in the garden go out in nature right so if you're ever feeling down low or whatever it is, you can read books and listen to music and all that jazz, right? But if you need to be active to a certain degree so you can let the noise in your mind just settle down, exercise and go play outside, okay? which is what we're doing right now. Okay. Gardening, so good for the soul, so good for the soul Catholic traditionalist. And welcome, welcome. Cheryl, how are you doing? My work has picked up, picked back up, and I've missed so many streams. Oh, I upload them, so it's okay, but being live is a different thing, right? But I was geek, <laughs> geek to see this pop up on my phone while putting, putting in my, God, oh, you're puttering in your garden as well. Perfect, and hi all, hello, hello. What I'm gonna plant next. Tomato. We got to do one more tomato. We got so far. I got two. I got five tomatoes planted. We're gonna do more because the odds are, um, I might start making uh, using the tomatoes to make some pickles and stuff like this. So we'll see how many tomatoes we can get. Okay. So let's do tomato. Tomato will go in big pots.
Elfin Cherry Tomatoes. Check this out. This one is uh, Elfin. Elfin Cherry Tomatoes. Okay. Elfin Cherry Tomatoes. And I'm going to bury it again. I'm going to bury it up to about here. Elfin cherry tomatoes. Fun. By the way, gang, just so you know, um, our next two live streams, I'm just going to announce two most likely. I may announce three today, later on. I'm going to do it. Um, but we're going to do uh, lyrics music lyrics on Tuesday most likely starting around 3 p.m. my time okay and then we're gonna do uh, most likely politics current events on Wednesday night starting around 7 30 p.m. my time okay just giving you guys a heads up um, if you want to know what's coming up mass this morning on a hike now and gardening <laughs> viciously through through Chicho live stream what a blessed Sunday I just wish I was blessed with a more stable net connection I am missing most of the stream due to the dropouts ah oh, unfortunate that's okay though you're in uh, you're in, uh, doing gardening and whatnot so that's fantastic classical music seems to work best for my plants yeah classical music you don't you don't play death metal for your plants <laughs> Zoot. death metal Graham Chicho we were talking last stream about open archives I posted a link in discord to a great repository of comics and book scans every issue of 2008 oh really Graham awesome I'll well, check it out v vicariously I love that word oh God says fun. what should we plant next Only cabbage we're gonna do another cabbage game Let's do another cabbage. This guy is. What is this guy? I don't know what this guy is. I don't think it's cabbage. I don't know what this guy is. I can't bring it close to the camera because it's got dirt falling off of it. Right, I should have here. Do what we're we gonna do? Let's do another cabbage. I need another cabbage. Cabbage it is. Let's do cabbage. We need a plate. Let's see if we got a plate. wasn't too loud for you guys.
a big cabbage. Take a look. Yes. Another cabbage. Tomato, tomato. Lucky, the umbrella went flying. We get serious, we get serious gusts of wind here, right? That one just came through, took the umbrella. I'm glad it didn't hit the, uh, the, what do you call it? The mic. The mic is sitting right here. Check it out. Ah, oh, it's okay. I won't bring it over. And I'm glad it didn't tip over the computer. Oh my. Okay, we leave this here like this. Dramatu, how are you doing? Welcome to a live stream. Cheryl, I can share a few links with lists of shade uh, friendlies via Discord later. Awesome, Cheryl, that'd be great. But ferns, succulents, think hens and chickens spinach etc all do fairly well calibrating are you growing awesome <laughs> okay we leave it alone it looks okay
serious wind was coming up. These are uh, sort of black. Um, I think they're a black shade ones. Chicho, is that basil left of the camera? Uh, Someone's tired squeaking. Basil. No, we don't have basil actually right now, unfortunately. We haven't got basil. Thinking about growing morning glory. Nice flowers. Beautiful bluish purple. Yeah, morning glories are beautiful. They're also psychedelic. <laughs> queek in the <laughs> is the opposite. It is. <laughs> that queek was crazy. <laughs> and I'm gonna bury this one again. I'm gonna bury it to about here. Okay.
couple of heads of lettuce. Some nice lettuce here I'm gonna plant. Okay, take a look. Okay. Good. How you doing? Yeah? You want to come and join? You can come and join. Okay. It's chilly out here. Yeah, it got windy. Yeah. The umbrella blew over. Luckily, they didn't knock anything out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I did a lot, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. We watered them and then we re. Actually, we can rearrange them in water. Should I give you a strawberry? I think we've got a strawberry. Yeah. We munch on our strawberries as soon as they're ready or close to ready so that so the little little buggers that like eating strawberries don't get them before us We also have a hanging basket strawberry and we sometimes forget about it but look at this guy right nice let's take Ooh, it down you need to add some soil to that. yeah i know i should add i'm gonna add some soil right now to it look at this one nice strawberry this one no oh, it's ready enough <laughs> oh nice strawberry look at that beautiful picture nice what's our time on this then will we take a screenshot of this guy uh, up time oh here hold on a second babe one hour and 19 minutes i'm gonna give you this you're not gonna eat it no no just put it in the you, you ate that one okay uh, weather <laughs> that's cute are they any overbearing uh, are they an overbearing or june only variety i don't know cheryl um, i don't know if that's related to the strawberries or not check it out i just topped it up with soil hello rambo <laughs> We 
need to plant lettuce. More lettuce. How many lettuce do we got? Two, three, four, five. Oh, hold on. Six, seven. No, No, lettuce. The lettuce looks amazing, this guy's. Let's get those into the pots. That's my partner, Rambo, talking in the background. You would have seen her in a, the DJ set that we did, the video. You would have seen her in uh, uh, the math, ASMR math. Or yeah, it was just a math uh, actually video where we talked, uh, talked about the cyclic nature of the female menstrual cycle, right? Which is extremely important that we as, as, as uh, like, as human beings we must appreciate what it is the the cyclic nature the cycle the period of the female menstrual cycle right so i put out a video on that and uh you would have seen her in uh two for the love of beards videos chicho the ever bearing ever bearing or june question was about the berries do the plants keep producing uh through the whole season um depending on the plants the one you see back there there's one in the corner back there it's in a big really big pot it's a gooseberry that uh, we've had uh, in the family for how many years now 25 years 30 years we moved it twice from one home to another home and then uh, a few years ago when we sold the last family home I took this plant with me so I put it in actually we moved it again to another place and then when we sold that house uh, I put it in a big pot the family sold that house I put it in a big pot and that thing's traveling with me now it's it's got sentimental meaning to me okay so we have a gooseberry we have uh, strawberries they do produce all season for sure we have the one that's uh, I forget what it's called it's the berry where we talked about uh, uh, I forget what we talked about where I sat down and I showed you guys the berries I was harvesting them uh, we have that berry and we also have raspberries by the way raspberries are, are really good actually the raspberries here are fantastic you've already seen her Rambo <laughs> can you move the camera a little bit <laughs> Fun. So the bag that we just finished that I put away was a 50 pound uh, potting mix bag. Right? It's called pot potting mix. Uh, organic, our organic potting mix, right? And we've gone through about three quarters of the boost and about half of the uh, sea soil or about uh, a third of the sea soil.
Let's do one more less. Three lettuce. Okay, we need the uh, parsley. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of parsley. I'm gonna put the parsley in this one, a shallow pot. I think it should be either, uh, it should be okay. Regarding gooseberries, so cool. My raspberries are from uh, dear friends that moved to Vermont. Uh, it's such a gift and makes me miss them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, just to let you know here, I'll give you guys the lowdown on the gooseberry. Uh, the gooseberry was my uh, brother's uh, plant, okay. My younger brother's, uh, it was in honor of him that it was his plant. It wasn't in honor of him. It's the honor of him that I keep it. Uh, but uh, he planted it, I believe, uh, in our family house uh, a few years before he passed away. So that plant's going with me everywhere. Okay. Hey, from UK. I found your ASMR channel six years ago. I'll, I'll be honest. Because of life hasn't, haven't watched in three years. So I find you here on Twitch is crazy. Good to see you, man. Uh, awesome. I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to read the names. Meg Sweet, Meg Sweet, I believe. Uh, thanks for finding me again and uh, sticking around. I hope you like the stream. Sounds like it. <laughs> gooseberry cobbler is my favorite dessert. Gooseberry, I've never had. I just eat the gooseberry berries there's one on top of it actually that's not ripe yet I'm waiting for it to ripen to eat it <laughs> sure. so shallow pot for parsley is that okay again shallow pot for parsley I prefer to eat them green Oh, really? Green and tart. Very tart. So what do you think? Shallow pot for parsley or should we put arugula? I know for tomatoes we should use deep pots. Right? Should we put arugula or parsley? That will work. For parsley? Okay, done deal. Parsley, shallow pot.
put all three in there. Well, you know it's parsley, so we don't need this guy. Or parsley. I put three guys in there. And that's the last of the cuttings, the seedlings we have for parsley. Gold panning? No, I've never tried. Do you get rain like uh, Seattle? Yeah, for sure, Cheryl. We get rain like Seattle. Uh, same same time zone to a certain degree. Or same um, climate to a certain degree. Right. Uh, we get a fair amount, but it dries out enough in July that I have to be really on top of watering herbs in shallow pots in July, early August. Okay, I'll keep a close eye on it, Cheryl. Thank you very much. And yeah, when it when it dries here when it doesn't rain uh, like for a few days I'm watering these things every day right and it takes me anywhere between uh, it takes me anywhere between an hour to two hours to water all the plants that we have in our house right it's just meditation uh, it's awesome right For this later I have some stuff buried some bottoms buried somewhere have to find some later I know I have some uh, other places
for now. Okay. We do want to plant. Uh, which one is this one? Yeah, we do want to plant the tomato. Let's do another, another tomato, but another elephant to elephant cherry tomatoes. Okay, elephant cherry tomatoes. Why not? and cherry tomatoes.
fix it up later. Maybe we can use this one. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. Okay. So, what should we plant on this one? Planting is dry. See, it's a little limp. Right. So I'm going to plant the arugulas in this one. There's a shallow one as well. Let's see. Put it in this one, it's a little wider. It's just as deep though. But it's wider, it'll be better for the arugula. Okay. I think so anyway. Nice. Nice, have a sip. Here, so you see them all. Should I lay them out all here for you see for you see what we've done so far? Let me do that. We'll do this one, and then we'll bring everything over. So, what are we gonna plant? We're gonna plant the arugula. Guy needs water badly. Let's put it to one of these guys. Yes. 
Nice. All the pots on over on this side, so you see what we've done so far. Okay. Remember if we did that one yesterday or today? did all these yesterday except for that guy given some of the things you are planting it must be way cooler there uh, Chicho, than it is here hot and humid here uh, hands are sweating so much I'm having to rely mostly on uh, voice to put chat oh really yeah it's it's uh, you know what humidity here is, is supposed to be high but it's it doesn't feel it it's not like uh like i've lived in humid places in the summer and like ontario toronto and montreal and stuff like you're sweating here is not the same here is not the same chicho nate how are you doing welcome to the live stream is there a garden thread in discord i don't think so we have a food thread uh, but we can definitely put a garden thread we should actually put a garden thread in there if not i would love to see what others are doing all of your uh, uh in all our various locations sure we'll put a uh, either me or one of the mods will definitely put a garden thread together uh, or just create a garden folder right that'd be great finally caught you live nate how are you doing how's life life is good man i'm playing in the garden playing in our patio planting food can't ask more in life, right? Can't. Well, you could, but you're being greedy. <laughs> Let's, 
do one more tomato. Let's do one more. And I think what we're gonna do after this tomato, I think we're gonna call the stream again. Yeah. Should we call the stream after one more tomato? About 33 Celsius here, assuming my quick temp conversion math is that cell yeah here we're probably around 16 right now great stuff what's the main course for the garden main course uh, planting a lot of tomatoes right now tomatoes parsley lettuce arugula um, cabbage planted cabbage uh, we got uh, uh, mustard mustard uh, arugula going as well times divided by five eight eight times divided by five eight times divided by five oh is that the conversion uh the, from celsius to fahrenheit elder god tomato Let's do one more of these guys. Let's do another. Um, let's do a stupus tomato again. Okay. So we got two stupus tomatoes going on. Stupice. Stupice. I think these are the ones that are sort of blackish tint to them. The smell of tomatoes is amazing. Just the leaves and the and the stems on it and stuff, right? We either did uh, we either did fourteen or fifteen pots, uh, which is great, and we have a handful of uh, seedlings still left to do. Right. So check this out. Mm. 
got three tomatoes, two lettuce, one cabbage, sorry, four tomatoes left, four tomatoes left to do, uh, two lettuce, uh, one, I don't know what it is, and one cabbage, and some of these guys, two of these guys for controlling pests, which is, uh, which is good. We did good today, right? Uh, these ones I'll probably end up doing, uh, I gotta go find some bottoms and go through, yeah, I need to go find some bottoms and water these guys because these things that have been planted, they need some watering, right? Through at least at least 100 pounds of soil. I'm pretty sure we've gone through about 100 pounds of soil. Crazy bro, Athan, how are you doing? Everybody, hope you're all doing well. Two hours and two minutes. That's not bad. In two hours, we did pretty good. I enjoy cannabis. I says. I want to do it nightly, but I'm worried that overconsumption will be detrimental to my health, specifically brain function. Well, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Crazy bro, wow. Indiana Jones and the quest of the garden of Jijo life must be an epic adventure. <laughs> nice. And you know you've done a good job when your hands are dirty, right? And you got a little bloody cut. Dirty hands, dirty hands. Let me put on my glasses. That was a very nice successful day. Yeah? I hope you guys had a fantastic time. Lots of so-called sandbox games. Sandbox games. Don't think many qualify. How often do you enjoy cannabis, Chicho? It varies, man. Hannah, it varies. It varies. Are there many traps there that you lost your... <laughs> I went... I did a silly thing. I was in... When, for me... One of the general rules I have, I try not to rush too much because when you rush, uh, you make mistakes. Basically, the saying that says speed kills, speed does kill, right? So, because your reaction time is shorter, so I put my hand in a, one of the storage areas that I have that I keep the bottoms, and I went to grab one of them, and one of them was broken, so psh, I cut myself. I don't do that, right? Yeah, as Elder God says, control your knees. Don't let them control you. 100%. If you find that you're being addicted to anything, you are you have an addictive personality, or something's controlling your life, stop it, period. Do not let your addictions rule over you. If you let your addictions or your passions or, or your loves rule over you, uh, you miss out on a lot of life, right? Dirt manicures are the best, Cheryl says. <laughs> Dirt manicures. <laughs> nice. I got a little dent on the hat over here, so I keep on trying to fix it, but it's not doing it. Right? It is what it is. I grab it like this usually, right? Good to see you last year, Sean. Nights, how are you doing? Thanks. Good to be alive, man. And live streaming, right? Crazy bro, Athen. So you did a blood offering to the gods of the Garden of Chicho. Good investment. <laughs> That's a great way of looking at it, by the way. Fantastic way of looking at it. Fantastic way of looking at it. Gang, should we call the stream? We did a lot. Look at this. We did all that. We did all that today. Very nice day. Very nice day. It helps find a connection to the soil when you quite literally have soil connected with you. <laughs> nice. Well spelled, my eyes wide. Fun. Gang, I think there were some subs come through or follows come through. Thank you very much for the follows and the subs. Gang, thanks for being here. Uh, fun stream, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I, the, the thing that pushed me over the top to do this was Coolio's message. So it just felt right to do. and. It felt right to do. 
right it was fantastic to do i'll try to announce the live streams uh the next two live streams today i'll try um i do have to water these things i'm gonna go wash up a little bit so i'll try to get it up today if not if you're watching this live we're gonna do a live stream tuesday at most likely 3 p.m my time on music lyrics part two uh part two and uh on um, wednesday night around 7 30 p.m uh, we'll probably do a live stream on current events uh, again it, it's necessary okay it's necessary chicho manage both of them today traditionalists like me are always talking about blood <laughs> <So, laughs> true 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 <laughs> that is a good thing i promise no gay lyrics gay lyrics are okay man uh, your lyrics last time elder god it was good the lyrics were getting extremely heavy so you introduced some light lyrics which were fantastic and by the way for the lyric stream we need we need to say okay when when you're going to post lyrics put them in quotation marks or not you don't necessarily quotation marks but put a backslash or a forward slash to break the verses because poor chicho has a hard time reading and it's very difficult to read the lyrics uh, when they're all like all back to back right that's <laughs> the first not manly <laughs> catholic traditions are you saying chris de berg is not manly we must do it right we must do it right gang thank you for being here if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is the best way best place to do this okay you don't have to follow to uh, or support with funds to see what I'm doing I don't put anything behind the paywall everything's creative commons right share and share alike it's human knowledge it's human experience that's what we need to do okay no matter what the corporations in Wall Street and Hollywood and the, and the technocrats and the people in centralized power tell us we must share and share alike creative commons nothing behind paywalls okay if you like this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project chicho what's your tip on someone who wants to start gardening start small start with pots really that's what i did i started gardening by just getting a green thumb by having a couple of pots and watching the plants and the first batch of the plants i got they all died right i figured out over watering is the major cause of killing plants right and then once i started and and by the way it's different uh growing uh, in pots than it is gardening outside in the soil and stuff like this so i would recommend if you don't have a green thumb start with pots right all we have to do is tell the the story right all we have to do is tell the story right container gardening is a great place to start i'm with cassa the traditionalist container gardening is a great place to start once you build up a repertoire with plants and you understand plants life is magnificent oh my god it's amazing it's amazing okay aside from that we are live streaming on twitch those of you who are watching this live you know where we are those of you you're going to watch on another platform twitch is where you want to be at if you want to participate in these good discussions and these live streams live okay i do announce when we're going live on twitter gavs minds vk and elo 30 minutes before we go live or just before we go live if we're going to do an impromptu just a random live stream okay i am uploading audio to soundcloud this one is not going to go to soundcloud because i didn't record it with a lapel mic so the stuff that's going to go on soundcloud is most likely so far the stuff we recorded with the lapel mic when we're having a discussion where i'm not moving around where there's no visuals involved okay so if you want audio format of some of these discussions soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o uh, discord is the last place for free thinking discord is pretty pretty good elder god i agree i agree by the way elder god on your babylon 5 discord page do you have a section <laughs> youtube is evil do you have a, you know what's coming up do you have a section for babylon 5 quotes because there's a couple of quotes i'm going to post on our discord but i want to post on your discord first okay they're fantastic one of one of the quotes i'll give you two of the quotes i'm going to paraphrase right now i have to listen to them again they're from different episodes of babylon 5 in season one one of them is sure as 
sure is for people who don't have anything on the line okay then that's uh, the security guy that says it okay and the other one is the captain uh, that says it and he says <laughs> it's, it's an awesome thing it says that's more trouble than snake and toilet water <laughs> <That's> like, <what? laughs> fantastic but then see you later cutie zoot says thank you very much word about your thumb getting infected take care i'll take care of it brother thank you very much for the concern i'll i'll go wash it again and take care of it i my partner is a nurse oh. harley uh, my my partner is a nurse so she'll take care of it fine I have a few triggers set up i have a few triggers set up okay do you have triggers set up Okay, I gotta check it out. G Garibaldi, yeah, Garibaldi. Great show, great show. And of course, we're gonna be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. We haven't said anything that the sensors are gonna knock us off YouTube. And as Elder God says, YouTube is evil. <laughs> we are uploading this to YouTube and everything goes on BitChute. Okay. Uh, aside from that game, Foster, what plants or flowers make you the happiest? Personally, mine are my birds birds of paradise all of the different color variations are just inspiring uh word quote pops up word quote pops up does it okay okay elder god i'll check it out i'll check it out uh for me frost uh, frosted arbor i love jade uh i love some plants that i have that <laughs> there's some plants that i have <laughs> okay i'm not sure what the rules allow you to say on the on uh, twitch and uh, evil youtube and bit shoot is all okay uh, maybe we'll have to have a little pop-up for bit shoot which i'm not editing these i'm just loading these on uh, as is right have a great rest of your day yeah you guys as well be blessed be blessed gang gang i hope you have a fantastic as catholic tradition says rest of your sunday and i'll see you guys in a couple of days on tuesday at 2 30 p.m uh <laughs> because it's person <laughs> let's ban him right away who's gonna ban him i'm gonna ban this guy i gotta do a ban nice <laughs> karma is awesome gang I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Lyrics live stream, music lyrics live stream. In three days, we talk about current events, politics. Okay. Bye, everyone.